Inside the feeling mind, mapping conscious arousal in the brain. What does it feel like to feel? It's a deceptively simple question, and one that's fascinated scientists and philosophers for over a century. We know that emotions come with physical signs, a racing heart, sweaty palms, widened eyes. But are these reactions the same thing as conscious emotional experience? Or is there a deeper internal signal, something our brain creates that's uniquely tied to how we subjectively feel intensity? A groundbreaking new study suggests the answer is yes, and that this conscious arousal can now be measured directly in the brain. Using a combination of AI-driven modeling and advanced brain imaging, researchers have identified a distinct neural signature that represents emotional arousal, not just how your body reacts, but how intensely you consciously feel something. Whether it's the warmth of seeing someone you love or the adrenaline rush of a horror scene, this brain pattern captures your internal emotional experience. And crucially, it's separable from your body's automatic responses. This distinction matters as it challenges the long-standing debate over whether emotions are bodily reactions or whether conscious feelings are something more. And it opens the door to developing AI and brain-computer interfaces that can detect not just how we act, but how we feel, even when our bodies say otherwise. This is a leap forward in understanding the architecture of consciousness, not just the mechanics of emotion, but the felt intensity behind it. With applications in effective computing, personalized mental health treatments, and emotionally intelligent machines, the implications are profound. So the next time you feel your heart racing, ask yourself, is it fear or just your body talking? Thanks to this research, we're one step closer to knowing the difference. This video is based on the research paper, A Neurofunctional Signature of Effective Arousal Generalizes Across Valence Domains and Distinguishes Subjective Experience from Autonomic Reactivity by Benjamin Becker et al. in Nature Communications. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.